who's the best wide receiver under the age of 25. Mm. You got Justin Jefferson, mm. Jamar Chase, C.D. Lamb, A.J. Brown, Jalen Waddle, D.K. Metcalf, D.J. Moore, Jerry Judy. Give me the best and give me your top. Give me your give me your top four wide receivers oh, under 25. Man, well, I don't know about D.K. just because you don't know the quarterback situation out there, right? right? And then at the same time, when they go to uh, when even when Russell Wilson was there, when they needed a big play, who they go to? Tyler Lockett. Then if they go to someone else, to the if they go to the wishing well and it's not you, then guess what? You're not the guy. Oh, sorry. I'm just being honest. So okay. I, I think he's, I mean, he walks through the door, physically gifted. Yeah. But uh, the short guys who they go to when they need a big play. Uh, DK is, is robbing uh, Tyler's Batman. Okay. Justin Jefferson, outstanding. Uh, he gets, he's he has a cheat code a little bit because he has Adam Thielen out there trying to tell him everything. Even you have the athleticism. He's also a great kid as well. Right. Uh, a sponge. He also was a Kubiak's, uh, Clint Kubiak slash Gary Kubiak's offense. And that offense, there's one receiver that will always eat. The second receiver, you can eat two, but you just got it. You just got to know what you're doing. Yeah. Um, who who else? I mean, I could break Jamar all this stuff. Jamar Chase, love him. Uh, he has a stellar quarterback. His offensive uh, offensive minded coach understands getting him the ball. Uh, they understand that he'll be a guy that plays for a long time, has speed, but also has the ability to run uh, exceptional routes at such a young age. You like CeeDee Lamb. I like CeeDee Lamb. Um, I, I'm not really keen on hearing uh, Jerry Jones put that pressure and say he's a better version of Amari Cooper because Amari Cooper was Amari Cooper. You knew who Amari Cooper was when you paid him. You can't get mad at Amari Cooper because he's the same person that showed up. He's a quiet kid. He's going to he's gonna bring his lunch pail, but he's not really going to get dirty. That's yeah. never been him, and, right. it's, and it's nothing against him. Right. Right? That's why uh, at the time Oakland traded him because right. he just was not – the the the, the lunch pail. He's not no. a fire, raw, raw guy that that's have it. football and, is life or death for me. Yeah, and that's, and that's okay. And it is. You can't be disappointed. That's your fault for not doing your due diligence. AJ Brown, another AJ, physical specimen. He's a physical specimen. Um, I think his last receiver group really stunted his growth in Tennessee. Uh, the whole room. Um, I think there were some some examples that should have been better examples than weren't. Uh, he, he he is a dynamic receiver, and I think he's going to play well in Philly. I also think he just needs to come out and say, look, he left for more money. End of the day. Yeah. That's, ain't no wrong with that. Your guy, DJ Moore. I love DJ Moore. I, I love what he's playing. Not really um, not really sure how it's going to work out overall, but I like DJ Moore. And he, he's also he's – he's a kind of like um, – uh, like Coop, he's not really a rah rah guy. And he, he'll play, he'll show up, he'll do his football, his life or death for him, but he's just not a rah rah guy. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button and become an official member of Club Shay Shay, where we do something before two something.